But no, it wasn't hard. Yeah, I feel really good. <laughs> I got my special guest here today. It's Phil. We were just talking about how it's been like a year since you've been almost a, a vegan. It's been almost a year. Right. And what made you <clears throat> want to go vegan? I initially started it to see if I would feel any healthier or lighter. I basically just started with what I would think vegans ate, which is basically salad and a lot of lettuce. Yeah. Which is, I guess, mostly the stereotype. And so I started eating a lot more romaine lettuce and... <laughs> uh, what were you eating before? A lot of chicken. Okay, well first I was eating a lot of meat and using a lot of vegetable oil. oil. That's gross. <laughs> first thing I did was cut out meat, which is was not hard at all. And then... I was, it, was that like an overnight thing? I don't even know. Yeah, it was basically an overnight thing. Yeah. Probably... Like I probably started doing it just to try it out and then just eventually just cut it out because watch something like a while back that people don't actually crave meat. You crave the salt and fat, which is basically you can have with any food. So it's yeah. not necessarily you're craving meat. And then I started cutting down on oil and substituted that out and just started using water. I used to saute like mushrooms and broccoli and vegetables and I loved it. And I used to use either olive oil or vegetable oil and just started using water and steaming it. Oil is just empty calories and it's not good for our health. Even things such as coconut oil, it just clogs the arteries. So yeah, I really try to not eat it. Yeah, when you start steaming things with just water and then you go to a restaurant or something that they actually use oil in, it almost tastes like way too heavy because yeah. you just get accustomed to that. Yeah, so you feel like your palate has changed. Yeah, it really does, like after two weeks, probably. Two weeks, wow. Yeah. Have you noticed anything different? I mean, honestly, yeah. I don't really notice any huge differences. I have to say that my recovery time is so much better. Like I can go to the gym and yeah. I don't work out as much and I feel wonderful. I See, feel that like was the biggest thing for me. Six months ago where I stopped, I guess all of last year where I wasn't really going to the gym, but I was still eating basically a vegan diet. I guess the only thing I would have lost was like some muscle mass, but in terms of being feeling healthy and feeling good, that all stayed the same. And then when I started going back to the gym, just picked up where I left off because there was nothing to fight against, I guess. I think the reason why a lot of people have to feel they kill themselves at the gym is to overcompensate for what they're putting into their body. The best thing I like about being vegan is after I have a meal, like I don't feel like I have to take a nap. Yeah, you don't like feel I don't gross. feel sluggish or yeah at all yeah. so I feel a lot lighter you went vegan for health reasons yeah I initially went for health reasons the more I actually was proactive about it and started doing research research on my own it had it was like an equal balance between health and kind of an animal rights standpoint mm -hmm. so you actually realize what is being done like, just on an hourly basis to animals and I watched a kind of seminar thing on YouTube like almost a year ago and... Do you know what it was? Yeah, it was called, I can't remember the guy's name, but it's called... Oh, I know which one you're talking about. Basically, what I took from that was it didn't come from a angle of trying to push into being vegan. It basically just kind of laid out the facts of what's going into your food, what companies want you to believe, and basically let you take your own standpoint from it. It really put into perspective of it's not necessary to eat animals to get everything we need. I was the same way like the first time you told me you went vegan, which would have been like three years ago. Yeah, and my initial questions were like, well, how, do you, how are you going to get your protein? Like, are, are you going to waste away? He was like, well, this is just a phase. I thought like, it was when like, when are you going to be over yeah. with this vegan thing? I thought it was like a fad. Like I had somebody say like a couple weeks ago, they're like, yeah, I, you know, I just worry about your health. That's what they said, like being vegan. Yeah. I mean, they do that out of complete care and love because they don't understand. They haven't done the research. I get it. I mean, I, like I've said before, I used to work with a girl who is vegetarian and I'd be like, oh my God, how is this girl? getting enough protein. I thought she was crazy. Before knowing anything about veganism, if someone told me they were vegan, I would just be like, whoa, yeah, you're, you're gonna die, like that's, now. It's <laughs> like, you meat. think it's an extreme. And then like the alternative yeah. to that, like Forks Over Knives said, extreme is triple bypass surgery. Yeah, so any last comments about your vegan journey? Of vegan year, yay! Uh, yeah, almost a year. You can always find something to eat, too. I've still gone into like a steakhouse with friends because that's where they wanted to eat. Yeah. I didn't agree going there, but 
I didn't want to be that person, so I just found something to eat. No, it wasn't a hard transition at all. It probably took me about two weeks to really like clean my system out, maybe, maybe a full month to actually clean my system out and start craving plants. But no, it wasn't hard. Yeah, I feel really good. <laughs> Anything else you want to close this with? If you haven't watched Earthlings, watch Earthlings. Because that's what kind of changed my view on doing it solely for a health reason and more being proactive about it in terms of animal cruelty. Uh, be sure to check out Bill's channel, which he never uploads on, but he is a great, awesome musician. Um, and he also has actually a EP out on iTunes now, which is so cool. <coughs> what is it called? The Apartment, Apartment Sessions. Sessions. Yeah, check so, it out. It's been yeah. on iTunes for about a month now, so. Very, very cool. Later.